Hi, Betty. You know, pharmaceuticals patents are the foremost requirements to sustain a better level of public health in least developing countries. Threatening diseases like AIDS, cancer are most commonly found in these poor countries. Many other reasons are also responsible for the severity and morbidity of these diseases. On ice, Sandeep. It is looking very interesting. So, would you like elaborate on compulsory licensing? How will compulsory licensing help us to sort out this problem? Okay, if these least developing countries have their own patented drugs to cure the diseases like AIDS and cancer, then it will be great relief for those concerned patients. Generally, pharma companies of LDCs do not have much protected life-saving drugs. Due to lack of this, these companies are not able to sell life-saving drugs at affordable prices. Yeah. You know, what? I heard that least developing countries and some developing countries like Brazil, China, Canada, India, Thailand and also some others are enjoying compulsory licensing mechanism of TRIPS agreement resolve out the problem of life-saving drugs availability at affordable prices. Now, it has been proved that compulsory licensing mechanism is very purposeful in achieving the public health targets like the availability of life-saving drugs at affordable prices. Really nice, dear. First time, compulsory licensing procedure was approved by Perry Convention and TRIPS agreement. Now, each member country is free to create its own intellectual property regime related to CL mechanism up to certain circumstances. Thanks for being a part of Sandeep Kumar Kitcher's YouTube channel. Yours welcome to IPR Awareness Campaign.